Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video, but I'm super excited. I got a what I think is a pretty good ammo score today and figured I'd make a really quick video, show you guys, and you guys can help me come up with some ideas for videos that we can film with this stuff really, really soon. I'm gonna save the best for last, these right here. I've been trying to find this for quite a while, but long story short, I had some business in Spring Hill, Tennessee today. When I go to places that I normally don't travel to, Oh, air wind, the wind's blowing out here. I'll try to look up hole in the wall. I'm gonna fall down over here. I try to look up hole in the wall, little shops, because those are the places that are normally gonna have what you need because in the big cities, I live like 15 minutes from a big city. Uh, there's thousands of people just ravaging the stores the second that the ammo hits the shelves. You guys know what I'm talking about. Things have just been crazy for a while. Um, so I was in Spring Hill, looked it up, well, come to find out, there's a, a little shop in Columbia, Tennessee. I don't go there hardly ever. And they had some really cool stuff. And I picked up some really cool stuff. Let me show you the place. Uh, shout out to these guys. Kings Firearms and More in Columbia, Tennessee. That's where I picked all this up. Now let me show you what I got here. So, first, I got some of this. 303 British soft point stuff so check that out i got a box of 20 of these 303 british is kind of hard to come by these days and what i pay for that 26 bucks not bad the places near me when they did have this were charging 40 dollars a box so i'm cool to pay for that next we got some of this hsm i have never used this but it's supposed to be some really good stuff so it's made in montana but these are supposed to be really high quality consistent hand loads i've seen them online for a whole lot of money and i've never wanted to pay it but these are some 300 blackout 150 grain full metal jackets so i definitely want to test these out and see what kind of groups we can get i paid 26 dineros for it and these are what those look like so 300 blackouts short little stubbies let me know what ideas you have for that stuff next they actually had some 410s so you know i had to scoop it up what i pay for this 13 dollars. i just paid 15 dollars for five uh slugs in 410 these are the pretty uh wait did i get slugs it says buckshot is that what I guess that's what uh, 410 buckshot looks like because 410 so small. I guess it's got, yeah, three pellets in there. But I got 10 of them now. You guys let me know what you want to see us do with some of these. Got two boxes. The last one, this is what I went in there looking for. And then all this was just bonus. Check this out. If you guys watch the channel, you know that I just bought a 35 welling big shout out to jim appreciate you jim but we just got the uh cva scout in 35 welling over there at cabe's pawn in lewisburg tennessee and i paid 53 dollars for this stuff i don't know if that's a fair price or not i feel like that's a little bit high uh especially for some remington ammo but um hey i was glad to pay it because i can't find it anywhere and we got to have it for some videos and check this out right here here's what a 35 welling looks like super tall i didn't know what to expect because i've never seen one before but definitely a big old bow lot look at those babies man big as my finger but uh these are 250 grainers definitely pack a punch I'd love to take that uh, 35 well in hunting. Got the flip flops out today, not my Crocs. I only wear my Crocs when I got the socks on. You know, you got to rock the Crocs with socks. But super excited about that 35 well. What'd this bill come out to over here? $144. Shoo wee. But yeah, uh, making these boo light bing bang videos is not cheap. But appreciate y'all watching. Just want to make this super quick one. I'm really excited, especially to have found this 35 Willen. I think I'm probably still going to have to end up getting some online shipped to me because, uh, yeah, I had, to, I had to drive. That place is probably, shoot, 
hour and 15 minutes from where I live, maybe a little bit further away, but I was glad to get it. But appreciate y'all watching. Like I said, comment down below what you want to see next. I appreciate you guys in a huge, huge way. I don't know why I started talking slow and in a robot voice, but that's just how excited I am. But appreciate you guys. I'm going to read all your comments down below. We'll see you on the next one. Hoo-hoo!